This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So today, guys, I've got a pack of three plows uh, that have come over from Farm Sim 17 to Farm Sim 19. Uh, they are the Jumpa plows, uh, J-Y-M-P-A. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I'm sure someone will correct me on how to pronounce that. Now, this conversion is not by the original author. Uh, the author of this conversion states that he tried to reach out and get a hold of JIT, uh, who is listed as the original botter over at Farm Sim, uh, over at the Farm Sim Mod Hub, for Farm Sim 17, but was unable to get a hold of him. So he has converted this and posted it over at LS Mod Company. Uh, so you can go on over there and take a look. So those of you that have played Farm Sim 17 may know these and may love these dearly uh, because these are once again a plow that is more squared off at the back as opposed to being one of those offset plows. Let's take a look at the trio of plows here in the shop. So if we go to tools and plows, scroll on over here, we've got the three Jumpa plows. We've got the SJ7, which is 4.2 meters in width, requires 240 horsepower, operates at 8 miles per hour. Then we have the SJ9SR, which is 5.3 meters, operates at just 7 miles per hour, and requires a large 325 horsepower. Then we have the largest version, the SJ11SR, $45,000, 6.2 meters, 375 horsepower at 6 miles per hour. Now let's take a look and compare at some of these other plows. So if we look at, let's say, the Salford 8312, requires 360 horsepower and is also three, also 6.2 meters and plows at 7 miles per hour. We've got the Lemkin Titan, which is 4.9 meters. And again, remember, the Jupa SJ9SR is 5.3 and this is 4.2. So the Lemkin Titan is 300 horsepower and 4.9 meters. We have the POH5, which is 2.5 meters. So we really jump from 2.5 to 4.9 on the, uh, the width scale. And trying to use create fields with something this big can be quite a problem for the inexperienced plow operator. Whereas using one of these three is going to be a heck of a lot easier. So if we go in here, you can see none of these have configuration options. But we're going to go ahead and look at each one of them so we can assess the leasing costs. So the SJ7 is $20,000 to purchase, $1,020 to lease, $200 per day, and $420 per operating hour. Let's go ahead and get one of these. Then we have the SJ9SR, which is $30,000 to buy. $1,530 to lease, $300 per day, and $630 per operating hour. And then finally, we have the SJ11SR, which is $45,000 to purchase, $2,295 to lease, $450 per day, and $945 per operating hour. All right, let's go ahead and look at these things in the daylight. See, they are all three-point hitches. Not too bad. Not too bad of modeling. We can see we've got the uh, we've got the weld bead on the square tubing up front. We've got the what you call these offset uh, offset spines on the back. I don't know what you would call those. So let's quit looking at these things here in the shop and let's go look at these things up here in the field and watch them do their job. So we've got the big plow hooked up to our Fent 1038. We've got the small plow hooked up to the 
Massey Ferguson, 7726. And then we've got the medium plow hooked up to the Massey Ferguson, 8737. So let's go ahead and before we do anything, let's let's back up here and I want to disconnect and show you some stuff. Let's get over here and out of the way. There we drop it. You can see the two jack stands come down. Now take a look and listen when I connect this. You may not hear that, but basically when you hook it up, the two jack stands click. They make little clicking sounds as they jack up. Let's listen to that again. There we go. I don't know if you heard that or not. Let's go on over here and get this one plowing. Now when I started this little test strip and I was plowing, this plow liked to jump up and down a bit. Yeah, like that. Not too sure what's going on with that. I'd like to see it sit down a little bit better as opposed to doing that little hopping action. Does not seem if I have a hired worker on? over here and try a different section of the field and see if it works better that way now this little one likes to hop up and down hopefully he will get that fixed now let's take a look at the middle one middle one runs a lot smoother has a subtle motion to it which you would expect in a plow as it came across various obstacles and other things down in the ground but it doesn't jump around like the smaller one all these do let you create fields because they are listed as being true plows in the uh, in the game and then finally, we're going to take a look at the big plow. And this one cuts through just like the middle one. It goes up and down a little bit, but it's not over-exaggerated like the small one does. So guys, there you go. You've got the Jumpa plow set over at LS Mod Company. And again, the mod author lists that he reached out and tried to get a hold of the JIT modder, uh, the modder that goes by JIT, uh, who is listed as the modder of record uh, for the Farm Sim 17 version, but was unsuccessful and uh, has posted it over at LS Mod Company. Uh, he does list that should the original author um, finally be, be able to be contacted or should the original author contact him and not wish to see this uh, in Farm Sim 19 then he will promptly have it taken down from Ellis Mod Company there you go guys let me know in the comments what do you think of these plows did you use them in Farm Sim 17 or are you going to use them in Farm Sim 19 so until next time happy farming <laughs>